<laughs> I'm bright eyed, I'm bushy tailed, and today we're gonna be opening up boxes and we're gonna be using the bounce on our wedges. We're gonna be gliding over the glass, we're not gonna be chunking our leading edge into the grass. This is, take a look, see, okay? A lot of people have a natural tendency to forward lean the shaft and then they kind of dig into the dirt and goes up and that's, you see a lot of chipping yips as a result. Let me, let me do one that way. So if my shaft lean is too far forward and I dig in, I can overshoot the green, okay? Have a chunky shot, a little bit chunky, a little bit thin, a little bit fat. To kind of guard against that, what I want to do is I'm using the sole of the club before the leading edge, the bounce, kind of really opening up my club face and skimming the grass like this. This is a scientific example. Instead of digging in, I'm skimming. Nice skim, really committing to it, going through and skimming. It's called skimming. Okay. You know about reverse cowgirl, but do you know about skimming? All right, let's do a proper bounce, okay? Bouncing again, bouncing again. <laughs> As you can see, we got within two feet of the hole with our bounce. So here are the boxes, okay? Now, do you think that I can get these ball, this shot over these boxes? Let me know right now, this is live. Now, I know that wasn't such a great shot, but it really got over the boxes. So anybody who thought, no way can this guy get over the boxes, you're wrong. Let's do it again to show you that, that wasn't a fluke. Bounce. <laughs> I did it. It wasn't pretty, <laughs> but it counts. Uh, let's do it. Everywhere we go. Oh, no! <laughs> um, what we have is a Bradley Allen. It's a new designer golf label. This is pretty cool stuff. The B to the A, Bradley Allen. Now, who is Bradley Allen? Bradley Allen is the fruit of the labors of the design mind of Brad Franklin, who was a designer at Dunning, one of their first employees. He moved on to Tommy Hilfiger, and I uh, wrote it down. <laughs> Hey, where did you put, um, oh, there it is. It's in my bag. Yeah, let's get that. Okay, let's do Brad Franklin again. He's a PGA of Canada associate professional. Brad Franklin, the man behind Bradley Allen, he's a PGA of Canada associate professional, okay? He earned his fashion stripes at Dunning before moving on to Tommy Hilfiger and Orr Golf where he served as the head of design. Is that correct? Yes, okay. He served as a head of design at Orr Golf, that's A-U-R, cool company, and Tommy Hilfiger, we all, know, we all know Tommy. So this guy has got major cred, and now he's going on his own. Dunning, Hilfiger, Orr, let's see what he's got. We're gonna do the big reveal. I'm gonna give them some um, Linko kudos. You got that? You kind of folks it. Now, now you do the rest and I'll just read. <laughs> okay, so Brad, he sends me a letter. It's personalized. It says, Dear Mike, big fan of the show. He doesn't actually say that, but he says, uh, My name is Brad. I'm the founder, creative director of Bradley Allen. It's a new men's golf lifestyle line of polos. Are we, are we, we have audio going? Yeah. Uh, Brad sent me the letter. He said, Hey, Mike, big fan of the show. You didn't actually say a big fan of the show, but it's nice for him to send us the stuff. Um, new men's golf lifestyle, polo, shorts, pants, you know, the whole, whole kit and caboodle. Um, he's been designing for tons of performance brands and he's ready to do it on his own, to carve his own mark. Signature, Bradley Allen. So Bradley Allen, their big thing is natural materials like soft Pima cotton. We always like the feel of that, okay? Let's take a look. Let's just see if there's anything else we're forgetting. He doesn't like boxy clothing. Not, not too boxy, not too slim. Just right, like me. Finally designer who gets my build, like, you know, just perfect. Like an Adonis, but not like too Adonis-y, you know, like in the middle. Okay, let's look in the box, Bradley Allen. This is the big reveal of a really cool new brand. Okay, 
What we got here is a short number two pencil with an eraser on the bottom. You don't see too many erasers on golf pencils. That's cool. Golf pencils, I don't know if you guys know it, but they're really good for helping preschool kids learn how to write and learn their motor skills. And that's what they've been reused as as people move to electronic stuff. Really nice, perfect for a four-year-old. Perfect size. So you guys, if you want to gift golf pencils to, to kids and preschools, it's a good thing to do. You got that, okay. So what do we got here? We got a little black book. I think this is uh, full of some phone numbers. Yep, okay. So you can fill this up with uh, phone numbers. We got some signature tees, that's always cool. I like how they come in. Let's take a, can you style these a little bit more? I take a pause and style these. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes in video, when you have this sort of, what do you call this? Like, it's a nice, cool pixelation. I like it a lot. It has a nice texture to it. Um, like, kind of, almost style. feels like really soft denim. And it has a denim look. This is really stepped up golf fashion. I like, I like this, I like the presentation. Bradley Allen is a really sharp, sophisticated look. You can go out to a nightclub with this kind of shirt. And you can also hit balls and look great on the golf course. It's, an, it's a really cool combo. Props to Brad Franklin, the head designer, the head honcho, the man who created Bradley Allen, and I wish them well. Three, two, one. Todd from Ohio has a really cool brand. It's a novelty brand, one of those cool logos that he puts on things. But it's one of those ones that, like, you know, the swing juice, a lot of people are doing those kind of things. Todd is a cool guy. He gave us a call, said he thinks our video is really funny, and love to see his clothes, um, you know, make their television debut. So let's, let's do that for him. By television, you mean YouTube? No, television has changed. Television used to be you know, cable channels and stuff, but what's happened in the content game is all content is the same, the, the barrier has gone. Because you could be watching this on your television, you could be watching this on your phone, you could be um, watching this in your bathtub. It's video, it's all the same. So I think we can make his TV debut come true. Let's see what's in the box, and we're gonna be, we have the fortune of really debuting this brand to the golfing public. I didn't, do you have a knife or anything? I can't actually cut it. Ready? We're gonna rip this open, and we're gonna reveal a brand that's gonna be new to a lot of people in the golfing game, and I think it's gonna have some instant appeal. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, we see that scope, right? Are you ready for the name? I'm ready. Hunting Sticks. Let's do the usual. I guess we have to lay this down, right? I love it. I just love it. I mean, what Todd's done, filled the game down to its essence. What we're doing is we aim and we fire. That's what golf is. We aim and we fire, and he's hunting sticks. I love it. I love the scope. Oh, he gave me a polo, too. So how does hunting sticks look on a polo? See it on a polo? Oh, yeah. Check out that. It's on a nice camo hat with the hunting sticks. That's cool. And through the magic of video, the next time you see me, I'm actually gonna be wearing the hunting stick. Hunting sticks. So you can actually go hunting and then go hunt sticks. So this is good for a golf and guns combo game. Maybe you wanna shoot some clays and shoot some holes. Always a lot of fun. Um, hey, look at this guy. You know, thank you, Todd, man. We got uh, some poker chips. We got a ball marker, and what's this big one? Just a big logo. And we got some hunting sticks, um, I believe they're tees. So let's just style these on the next thing that we display. It's possible though. <laughs> no, don't do that. Uh, I won't, I won't. <laughs> um, this is the uh, hunting sticks hat in white. This is really sharp too. I can, you're gonna be seeing these on your golf courses. It's, it's, it's nice, this guy's, you know, he's onto something. Hunting stick. And did we show this shirt? 
You got a couple towels too, golf towels to stick to your bag. Hunting Sticks has gone whole hog and really shown us what their line is. You can check it out for yourself too. Huntingsticks.com, hunting Sticks is spelled S-T-I-X. Boom. All right, what else we got? We got another birdie box. Okay, birdie box is a gift that keeps giving. We got the box within the box. Okay, let's. Birdie box. Oh yeah, and guys, I do have a prognostication. And I kind of know this from the previous box and the time of year it is. You can't probably tell because it's sunny and it's hot and it's unseasonably warm, but it's winter. And I guarantee you that we're gonna get El Pantalones. That's not how you say it. How do you say pants in Spanish? Let me know in the comments, I can look it up myself. Isn't it Pantalones? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna open the box and I'm gonna see what's inside. And I have a feeling we're gonna get the pants. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. Okay, we got the letter from Pat. Read that later. And let's see what we got. Hey, this is cool. Nice Adidas glove. Black, white colorway, a little bit chicer than usual for the uh, three stripe brand. Well, cool Adidas glove. Uh, we got an Argyle sock. This comes from Puma. I can never get enough Argyle in my wardrobe, so I'll be letting these uh, get some daytime, day life. And what is this? I was wrong. There are no pants in this box. That was my guess, but I think this looks to be... Hey, what is this? I think this is the showstopper, the piece de resistance in the birdie box. Ooh, it's a Greg Norman. I wouldn't have guessed that. I thought it'd be, you can't really tell from it. And it's a vest. It's a vest, which gives you another alternate way. This is, this is the showstopper in the box. Nice teal blue and black vest. You wear the vest over your shirt. You can play a little more inclement weather. Look at that shark. Comes hungry, comes to play. Mike Deutsch, we've been hunting sticks. We've been birdie boxing, we've been bouncing, and I've even been standing in a box, okay? It's been quite a show. This is never, never unprecedented territory we've entered into. We've shot it over boxes, we've stood in boxes, we've been hunting sticks. I chipped in five times off camera and we didn't get it in. That really is annoying. You can actually see it by this claim that this is actually true this time. This is not a fib. Unfortunately, that's, that happens in life, you know? Sometimes when you put the camera on, it causes extra shoulder tensile strength. And what that does is it cramps you up and gives you more chipping yips as you saw on display. But really, I wanna thank you for watching. I wanna, I, it was my privilege to expose you to Bradley Allen, to Hunting Sticks, um, and to Birdie Box's gift that keeps on giving. And you can keep on giving too by tapping that subscribe button. Mike Deutsch, I'll see you next time. That was not what we meant to do, so take that back.